The response for the video we did was surprisingly good. I know, right? I can't believe they signed us up for another half a year. You did a good job. It was thanks to you, though. If it wasn't for you, I would have just been an awkward potato. That's what makes you special. Oh yeah, where's Alexis? I thought she'd be here today. Right, kind of got into a fight. She's probably still pissed off at me. What happened? Long story. Anyway, you want a drink? Yeah, sure. Chat? Can we talk? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll wait for you downstairs. Just drop me a text when you're done. What? You're with him a lot? Yeah, because we work together. You should know your company hired us. So, do you like him? I mean, he is the guy from the posters in your room. Do you just stop me so that you can ask me stupid questions? I'm leaving. Look, Kat. I'm really sorry about how things turned out between us. Really. You know, I now realise that you were always there for me and that you cared. I was just too stupid to see it. No, Caleb. I was an idiot back then, okay? I was a loser and nobody liked me. And then you came along, you just showered me with some attention and then I stupidly clung onto you like a lifeline. And then I just let you make use of me again and again. Yeah, I'm better than that now. So you think you're better than me now? You know what? Yes. Yes, I am. You know, I've always been that ugly duckling and that weird-ass girl in that corner. But now I'm famous, successful, and financially stable. I don't need people like you in my life, you know, who just leech off other people. Who makes you think that I want to have anything to do with you? I'm not young and stupid anymore, you know. Wow. Bye. You know what? You're right. You have changed. Back then, you might not have been attractive or anything, but at least you were kind. Now you're just this typical materialistic fame all who just tramples on other people's dreams and aspirations. You think you're all that good, huh? I'm surprised you even have friends right now. I was wrong about you. You are a total bitch. I was getting worried when you didn't text. I'm sorry. I just wanted some time alone. How do you know I was here? Isn't this your favourite moping spot? Even though I have a good idea of what this is about, you can talk to me about it. I promise I won't look bored. <laughs> you say that I've changed. That I've become mean and superficial. You know, a year ago, if you told me that I was going to become an influencer, I would have just laughed in your face. I hated all of that. Alexis and I used to do this thing called Anime Night every Friday. We were all eating pizza and just watch anime the whole night. It was our favourite thing to do. But because I've been caught up in so many things, we hadn't done it in a while. She was pissed off at me because I disappeared the other night and I didn't bother calling her. <laughs> she was up all night worried for me and I acted as if I didn't care at all. And then I even got angry when she got angry at me. 
I'm a terrible friend. And then the other day I met another bunch of my friends. And we used to be all nerdy and geeky together. And then they came over to say hi. And I was so embarrassed to be seen with them that I ran away. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, you did nothing to me. I don't think I'm the person you should be apologizing to. I'm sure your friends are important to you. You just have to learn to prioritize things. And who cares if you're geeky or nerdy? It's who you are, and that's what makes you special. Why do people think I'm weird? Hello, the weirdness in your vlog is what made you who you are today. Can we just stop talking about that stupid video? I liked it. Then get in line. You know what? You're not a terrible person. We all make mistakes. You just have to learn from it, okay? Ooh. I think I wipe away a bit. You need to wipe away the other side. No! Balance a bit, no. ah. Balance a bit. No, I cannot like that. A bit, a bit. Stop a bit. it! Everything around me feels so strange, and I don't feel the same. So, tell us about your relationship with Katrina. Spare no details. Uh, well, she is or was a regular customer. She would come in here every day, order a latte and a blueberry muffin. You know, we don't actually need all the details. But you said... How long has she been your regular customer? I would say about four years or so. So, is there anything else you can tell us about her? Uh, uh, I've always had a crush on her. Uh, she was always so nice and kind to me. Um, but one day, she came here and she dropped this. And that's when I knew that we were totally meant to be together. <sighs> I've been chasing her all this while. And all this while, she was right under my nose. What's this? Let me take a look. Someone validate this shit right now. <laughs> Ew. Don't say that. This is great. This is great stuff. We'll be borrowing this, Robert. Thank you for your information. We appreciate it. And in exchange for your information, you can pay for the coffee. You're welcome. Let's go. Uh, wait, you're not gonna hurt her, right? Of course not, sweetie. We're best friends. Feels so strange.